We waited 100, what was it, 103 days for football to be back, and there it is back. Spurs won, United won, I think a game where David De Gea is going to be scratching his head, and fans are scratching his head at that performance. In the negative sense, in the positive sense, we have Pogba, Fernandez, Greenwood, Martial and Rashford on the pitch there for the last 30 minutes, and United dominated towards the end of that game. Fantastic footwork from Pogba, and it was his introduction that really helped United's momentum to shift and change. And United came back into that game and probably deserved to win over the course of the full 90 minutes. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But that first half, I, the, the start of 11, I got 9 out of 11 right. I didn't expect uh, Fred to start ahead of Matic. And I expected Bay to start in defence to sort of cover the weaknesses that Harry Maguire has in his game. And they were horribly exposed for that goal. Bergwin left him for dead, turned him inside, and the pace was gone. But as bad as that mistake was, that's what you expect of Harry Maguire. That's the weakness of Harry Maguire's game. Bergwin just exposed it. David De Gea, on the other hand, is supposed to be one of the world's best shot stoppers. And we've waited three months, and the same thing has happened again there. A save that he should have been making. It wasn't difficult. Hands were in front of his leg. He palmed it into the top of the net. 1-0 down when United had the better chances, but it was a game where it's clearly been three months since football has been played. It was a little bit of a tentative start. United grew into the game, but it was those changes and Paul Pogba that made the difference. We've been waiting so long to see Paul Pogba back in a United shirt and playing alongside Bruno Fernandes with Rashford and Martial. And he was fantastic straight away. You know, he was there tackling he was there in the middle he was there in attack he was everywhere he needed to be and the expectations on Paul Pogba to deliver immediately make it so difficult for him but he's a player of such quality that those expectations are expected and he delivered by turning Dyer inside out and winning a penalty with some silky footwork and Fernandez made no mistake and Fernandez ran straight to the ball ran straight to the halfway line and just that mentality will help United over the course of the season. But this is a game where I expected Mourinho to set up in a Mourinho way and when it went 1-0 up, ironically, on the counter-attack, United got undone. Mourinho sat back and went into that 1-0 shape that he always did at United. And like he did at United so many times, it came unstuck. And 1-1, I think Spurs fans at the end of the 90 minutes will be very happy to see that as one all. The penalty there that was overturned by VAR was the right decision. It wasn't a foul by Eric Dyer. He pulled his foot away. It would have been a sloppy penalty to give, but I wish it would have been given. But it wasn't. But it was the first time there tonight that we had seen Rashford playing alongside Bruno Fernandes. It was the first time we've seen Pogba playing alongside Bruno Fernandes. That point there, in that front five, and we have Pogba with Fernandes and a front three of Rashford, Martial and Greenwood, that's got to be, I think, what United are aiming towards for the rest of this season when we can get everybody playing together. It was obvious that there were some sloppy mistakes in there. I thought Scott McTominay, on the opposite, I don't know why I led with sloppy mistakes and Scott McTominay, because I thought he actually played quite well. McTominay there keeping Matic out of the game. Very surprised about that. I got that wrong, but McTominay proved his worth. Fred was annoyed when Pogba came on for him, but that's what's going to be happening now, Fred. You know, we've got so much quality in that position that there's going to be plenty of subs being made. And the fact that five subs can be made in a game means there's going to be even more subs being made. But United, uh, it's really annoying to see that mistake from De Gea straight away. Again, a, a, a player that has been so reliable for so many years that he gained so much grace that you can't really say a bad word against him. But I'm sorry, with Dean Henderson, was it a few nights ago, keeping another clean sheet, I think he's on for golden gloves this season. He's knocking on the door. We've got a player right there who's dying to play for Manchester United, who came through the academy system and clearly is growing into a world-class goalkeeper. And on the other hand, we've got David De Gea, who right now looks past his best at United. And the same mistakes keep repeating themselves. And there's only so far that good grace will go with Dean Henderson knocking on the door. So David De Gea's got to sort that out. Harry Maguire, that is his weakness. I'm not going to have a massive go at him for that. I thought Luke Shaw, a left back, left a lot to be desired in terms of his positioning today. The ball was played in behind him so often that Harry Maguire was dragged over to cover that space. And then the weaknesses were there to run back inside him. But today you saw why I put Eric Bailly in my predicted 11. I don't think Lindelof and Maguire will work in the long term as the centre-back partnership. It's just too slow. You need the physicality and the athleticism that Eric Bailly provides with the recoveries 
to cover the problems that Harry Maguire brings with a slowness to his game. But United there, one all. Would I have taken that going into the game? Probably. It's the first game back. I wasn't expecting everyone to pull up trees. I wanted to see what Popa Fernandes could do together, and we did. I think it's exciting to see and feel what could happen there going forward. But football is back. Rashford is back fit. Popper's back in the team. Fernandez getting another goal. Plenty of reasons to be positive. And I think the fact that we really threw the kitchen sink at Spurs there and nearly got it towards the end, that's what you want to see from United. You don't want to see us going down without a fight and we put the fight up there. We made it difficult for ourselves with that mistake from De Gea. He's got to look at himself. He's got to question what's going on. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has got to help bring the best out of him because with Dean Henderson right there, I don't think that grace can continue into next season if this is just going to be David De Gea for the rest of this year. Who is your man of the match? For me, I can't look past Bruno Fernandes, but maybe you should give it to Paul Popper because of coming back in and helping to inspire that comeback. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But one all, United back in action. There's plenty of football coming up. If you did enjoy this match reaction, please drop a like on the video if you're watching it on YouTube or on Facebook. But a draw, at least Mourinho didn't win. I'm okay with that. It's a shame we couldn't get it towards the end though.